Community Outdoor Adventure and I'm out in Scotland again with Billy Dog. We're out for an adventure. Stick with us. Yeah, we're back out in Scotland for uh, two nights, three days and uh, absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, it's like a mill pond. We've not been paddling for long. Had the poncho on when I set off. Not really raining, just very low cloud, so a bit damp. But uh, we've got the fishing gear, we're going to do a bit of fishing and a bit of camping. We're in the Levu. Uh, we've got the lamp with us, the uh, oil lamp. Cook a bit of scran up and, like I say, hopefully catch some good fish. So, anyway, stick with us for the adventure if you fancy it. Cheers. Looks a great spot for a bit of dinner, doesn't it, Billy? Hey, get a bit of dinner. Too right. Hey, you good lad, ain't you? Hey. I'm fishing on an imitation crayfish. Just this lock's full of them. I mean, I've only had it in, well, normal one because the season of the lake is good. But uh, it's supposed to have turned up really well to it. It's knocking on, we're getting towards dark. Absolutely beautiful down here and flat calm. Look at the state of this. How beautiful is that? Hardly a ripple today. So I've met up with a few other lads from YouTube, a few you might know. Chris from MCM Outdoors, yeah, and Matt from Adventure is Made, yeah, and Ants from Ants Survive the Night, and also Matty, Magpie Woods off Instagram. So I've met up with these lads and uh, we're just setting up camp now. I've got the Levu up. Uh, we're going to get the fire sparked up soon. It's not been too bad, it's been cold. It's been about, I don't know, 40 degrees, something like that. But we've not had much wind. So it's been absolutely spot on. So anyway, we'll get this fire sparked up and we'll get a bit of tea on soon. Matty's caught, uh, like pine woods, caught a pike. So we might be having that for tea. So, uh, why not, eh? We get it on the coals. Yep, or maybe get it filleted and what have you. We'll see what happens. Yeah, maybe chop it into steaks. We'll see. But yeah, so, and we've got a bit of a venison stew as well. Matty's got a deer, so just had a bit of jerky. And he's chopped that up into nice little palatable lumps and we're going to uh, bang that in a stew. So we're going to eat like kings tonight. Put it down, a bit of white spirit. So what have we got in there, Matty? Uh, we've got Welsh fallow deer, do yeah. do um, oh. onions, mm. carrots, Jeez, that's a nice um, Not sweet, like mine held together by bloody uh, celery, um, herbs, safety spices, <laughs> Guinness, and some tomato puree, Whoa. and some stock. I mean, hey, no wrong with that. Can't go wrong, mate. Way back when. Wow, jeez, mate. Bloody flat, I thought. Hot water could. Not even big logs left for me. Not that, aren't they? What's that saying, mate? I'm thinking of putting a big log on or something. I think we've got a few more of these decent rounds left, haven't we?
Bit of pike. Whether we cut these, do you reckon just slice them down the middle so they've got just less less, of, less surface yeah, area? Maybe, yeah. Or try and make them thick. Looking good, that innit? Yeah. Right, let's go and catch some pike. Or perch. Or trout. Or an old welly. Or a shopping bag. Or a cold. A cold. Probably more like it. Come on, Billy. Come on. This way. This one. Yeah. This way. Go on, Zach. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Right, a good few lures. Just going to uh, mix it up with a bit of trawling now. A bit overcast and a bit, uh, well, it's cowed light, but not too cowed, it's nice. The same idea, Matty. Give it a go for a bit. Yeah.
always worth a try in it gotta mix it up I'm not doing so well though doing pretty bloody poor really but I'll do a bit more trawling in a minute Is that a brew? Top the uh, smoker up, we're back out. Have a couple of hours of fishing, I reckon. Hey, Billy, what do you reckon? Eh? A hey, good lad, ain't you? A hey, good lad. Hey, good boy. Like I say, always an absolute pleasure to be out here. Yeah, hey, that's what we're on. How we do with that? Yeah. Been going through a few, uh, a few of me Lewis. But, uh, yeah, we start making excuses already. It's a big water. Yeah, it's fine in the fish. You've just got to present it right up to the nose. <laughs> well, was a bit of dead bait out later. Yeah, we'll get back to base after. We'll put a bit of dead bait out. Billy boy, me. You trying to catch some fish? Not happening, is it at the minute, big lad? Me. Well, this is one. Uh, I've had that for years and years. I bought it a long time ago, and uh, I've hardly dared use it. <laughs> How daft is that? But I've hardly dared use it. Because I never wanted to lose it. But it's on. I'll see if it can do the honours for me. Yeah, it's starting to go a bit, I won't say dark, but uh, yeah, getting that way. So I think uh, I'm going to troll across the other side and then. Uh, I'm gonna get a dead bait out before it goes dark. I can see what I'm doing proper. Find a bit of dead bait on, get it wazzed out, uh, settle in for night. Maybe do a bit of spinning around Port Coast with a couple of lures as well. That dead bait's out, but uh, get some wood chopped for night and everything. But yeah, well, I can't say we haven't uh, tried today, but uh, hey up. One of them in it. Not catch out sat on couch at all, will you? Eh? Not catch out if you're not out here having a do. You win some, you lose some. I've lost a few lately though, but uh, it'll come back round. Hey, and there's time yet. There's time yet, Billy, for that 20 pounder, isn't there? That's it, fish are doing pretty well really, feeling pretty good, so I've just blown a bit, a bit of life into it just to get it smoking again, we don't want too many flames, we just want to let it dry out with the smoke, we don't want to cook it with heat, but yeah, doing alright that. So we're going to try a bit of dead baiting now, it's just going dark so... <clears throat> we'll throw a dead bait out see how we get on. Mm -hmm. 
Have you caught a crayfish? Yeah. What a laugh. Have a look at it. Have you got it? Yeah. <laughs> to get it in bloody calls. Ah, ah. Hey, it's a decent size one. There's two of them. Oh, no, it's one of them. It's only got one end. Yeah. It's a decent size, isn't it? Oh, they laugh. <laughs> Get that. Little crayfish. They'll fire you. Oh, my neck. He's going to be tasty, isn't he? He definitely is going to be tasty. There. Little crayfish. Hey, an appetizer. Eh? Let me neck. Some breakfast. Boiling all right, that ain't it. What are you getting there, then, man? Look at that. I tell you what, time for it, bloody. Uh, what's a bit of uh, corn beef? Here. More of a corned beef soup, this one. I'll go for it. Uh... Cheers, Matty, mate. Cheers, Rick. Amazing, thank you. Oh, yeah. Billy can have that little bit unless uh, unless you smash that, mate, and you fancy some more. Do the job, won't it? Do you want a bagel to dip in it? Yeah, I'll have a, yeah, Snap a few great. bits in it. Yeah. another top night uh, yeah great day just fantastic chilling out for the day good breakfast with lads this morning plenty of time on water canoeing about trolling and fishing uh, been eating pike we've caught crayfish uh, good scranton eight corn beef ash uh, knocked up some bits and pieces done plenty of bushcraft skills yeah just fantastic so Anyway, I'm at Lavu. This is my setup for tonight. Uh, sorted. In sleeping bag. I'm also in this. Uh, I think it's a Dutch Army baby bag, so it's quite thick. Gore-Tex uh, gives that added uh, season really. Uh, Billy's curled up down here. He's in his sheepskin. I've got the lamp in the tent at the minute, so that's not going to stay on for long though. Just gives it that bit of warmth, especially in the uh, Lavu with the canvas, and it's they're not big, so it soon warms up. I mean, these warm up with body heat anyway, but uh, with that lamp in there, it just takes the edge off it. 
and uh, like I say, what a fantastic night, and uh, yeah, we love it, don't we, just spending time out here, around fire, cooking and chilling and drinking brews and just time in the great outdoors, eh, can't beat it, can you, so I'm going to get my head down now, and uh, we'll get a bit of shot eye, eh, so I'll see you in the morning, see you see you in the morning. that first meal of the day bacon butty eating like kings let's have a stick an extra plate on there Whoa, that is bang on nice and crispy Whoa. Right, that's it. Uh, absolute great night. Absolutely spot on. Good bacon butties for breakfast this morning. Unfortunately, no crayfish. A little blight has escaped. So, anyway, we're off down here now. We're going to set off down lock, me and Billy. Uh, Matt has gone for a wander in the forest, find a few uh, birch burls and stuff like that. I've got a big burl here to make a whiskey noggin out of. Uh, going to do a bit of dead baiting on the way back. And, uh, Beautiful still morning again, but there's a bit of a rainstorm forecast, so I'm going to try and get up there, smash us for a fair bit of this lock. We a bit of fishing along the way before this rain comes in heavy, and uh, I'm not going to rush. We're probably going to get stuck in rain, but you never know. It might be uh, way late, but anyway, let's get on this lock. Look at this, Billy. How oh, serene and beautiful is this? Hey. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. What a morning. What an absolute beautiful morning, isn't it? Hey. Stunning. Flat calm. Hey. Thanks for joining me and Billy on another adventure. It's been ah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, always just spending time outdoors. Could have done me a bit longer, really. Another day or two. Uh, day two, you sort of just start. Well, for me, I start bedding in on day two, getting you know, just relaxing a little bit. Day three, even better. Uh, day four, yeah, yeah, fantastic. But uh, no, it's been a great little micro adventure. We've had a, a good couple of nights. It's been nice to sit around the fire and have a chat with lads. Uh, just me and Matty last night, and uh, the night before, the full crew of us. So, top bunch of lads. Billy's enjoyed himself. And again, I've been blooming lucky with weather. Like I say, there's a storm coming in later on, or a bit of a bit of a rainstorm, but uh, at the minute, look at it, it's flat calm, absolutely like a mill pond. So I'm just going to head back to the car now, get myself sorted, and get on the way. But anyway, thanks for joining us. It's been great to see you as always, and we'll catch you again real soon, real soon. Ta-da! <laughs>